Hi, this is Susanna from Hold It Right There Sewing Patterns. You're watching my Sew Long tutorial series for my updated pattern, the Go Baby Organizer. In order to make the Go Baby Organizer, you will need to purchase the sewing pattern linked at my website below. In this sixth video, we will make the zippered flap and then assemble our organizer together. You will need flap interior A2, the A2 pattern piece, male magnetic snap halves, and the remaining ultra-firm stabilizer squares. Place your A2 flap interior right side up and place the pattern piece directly on top of it. Use a washable fabric marker to draw the two magnetic snap insertion points indicated on the pattern piece, or use the illustration in step 31 to measure and mark these insertion points. Install the male magnetic snap halves following steps 27 through 30, also covered in my previous video. Then set aside the flap interior A2 for now. Locate zipper tabs F. Press in half, matching short side to short side. Unfold, then fold the raw edges to meet the center crease, and press. Repeat with the second zipper tab. The raw edges are now enclosed. Locate your 11 inch zipper. Measure and mark 10 and a half inches total for the zipper. Just as we did for the zipper pocket zipper, we will sew several stitches at both ends of the zipper 1 8 inch from the markings. Cut the zipper tape where marked and the total length of the zipper will now be 10 and a half inches. Insert one end of the zipper into one of the prepared zipper tabs. Be sure the end of the zipper is pushed all the way to the zipper tab center crease. Pin or use double-sided tape or clip to keep the zipper from shifting. And you're going to repeat with the second zipper tab on the opposite side of the zipper, keeping the tab in place with a pin, clip, or double-sided tape. On both of the zipper tabs, sew 1 8 inch from the fold of the zipper tab facing the zipper teeth. A second row of stitches will be sewn later in step 41. I'm now going to trim the excess fabric on both of the zipper tabs so that they are even with the zipper tape. To determine the zipper center, fold the zipper right sides together matching short side to short side, and then where creased, Mark the center at the top and bottom edges on the wrong side of the zipper. Locate flap exterior A1 and flap interior A2. Fold in half, wrong sides together, matching short side to short side. Where creased, mark the center at the curved edge on the right side of the fabric. Repeat with flap interior A2, Again, folding in half, matching wrong sides together, short side to short side, and where creased along that curved edge, mark on the right side of the fabric. These center markings will be crucial for our next step when we install the zipper onto the flap. Orient flap exterior A1 so that the curve is at the top while installing the zipper. So in other words, flap exterior A1 will be upside down for this step. Right sides together, pin or clip the zipper to the flap exterior A1, matching the center markings. Be sure the zipper is wrong side up and the zipper pull is on the right side. Sew through all layers using an eighth inch seam allowance. You will now need one of your flap lining A3 pieces. Place the flap lining A3 piece right sides together with the flap exterior A1 and zipper. You will sandwich the zipper in the middle. Pin or clip along the curved edge. Sew using a quarter inch seam allowance. Turn the flap right side out. Right sides together, match the center marking on the curved edge of the flap interior A2 with the remaining center marking on the zipper tape. Pin or clip along the curved edge. Sew using an eighth inch seam allowance. Right sides together, place the remaining flap lining A3 on top 
of the wrong side of the zipper. So the lining pieces are facing right sides together. Once again, pin or clip along the curved edge. So using a quarter inch seam allowance, turn the flap right side out. Press the flap away from the zipper. We're now going to top stitch the flap. Keep your top stitching in between the zipper tabs. Don't top stitch beyond the zipper tabs. So beginning at one zipper tab, top stitch 1 8 inch from the curved edge of one flap, pivot to stitch across the opposite zipper tab, and then continue top stitching 1 8 inch from the curved edge of the opposite flap. Pivot again to top stitch across the remaining zipper tab. To maneuver around the zipper pull while you're top stitching, leave the needle in the fabric, lift up your presser foot, then open or close the zipper pull to get it out of your way, lower your presser foot, and resume your top stitching. Okay, my flap is now top stitched and I'm ready to attach it to the panels. You will need your prepared panel interior and we're going to attach it to the flap interior, the side with the magnetic snaps. Right sides together, pin or clip the top edge of the panel interior to the bottom edge of the flap interior. Keep all the other layers out of the way. So using a half inch seam allowance and then press the seam allowances open. We've sewn the panel interior to the flap interior. You will now need panel exterior C. Right sides together, pin or clip the top edge of the panel exterior to the bottom edge of the flap exterior. You want to make sure that the zipper pocket is at the top. Pin or clip together. So using a half inch seam allowance, I've sewn my flap and panel pieces together, and if you haven't already done so, now is a good time to press the seam allowances open that connect the panels and the flaps. After you've done that, set aside your organizer for now. Locate strap tab connectors G and your three quarter inch D rings. Place the strap tab connectors wrong side up. Fold over and press, half inch edges on the left and right sides. Repeat with the second strap tab connector. Now fold the strap tab connectors in half, matching the long folded edges and press. Repeat with the second strap tab connector. Use an eighth inch seam allowance to top stitch the left and right long folded edges of both of your strap tab connectors. Insert each strap tab connector through the D-rings. Fold the strap tab connectors in half, matching the raw edges, and then pin or clip the raw edges. You will need your organizer once again. Place the interior, the side with the slip pockets, right side up, and move the exterior side of your organizer out of the way. Pin or clip each strap tab connector to the side edge centered over the seam. The D rings should be facing toward the center of the organizer. So using a quarter inch seam allowance. We're ready now to assemble the Go Baby organizer. You will need to keep the zipper open for the next steps. Right sides together, pin or clip the organizer exterior and interior together, matching the seams. Pin or clip the zipper seam allowances so that they are pushed toward the flap lining rather than toward the exterior of the flap. You will now sew along the sides and the bottom edges of the organizer using a half inch seam allowance. Taper the sides of the flap lining seam allowance into 5 eighths to 3 fourths of an inch so that the lining will fit neatly into the finished organizer. Do not sew the long straight edge of the flap lining. With your Go Baby organizer sewn together, 
you are ready to trim the seam allowances and you can use scissors or your rotary cutter and ruler. I especially like to trim the corners close to the stitching so that when I turn my Go Baby organizer right side out, those bottom corners will be really sharp and distinct. I'm going to trim the remainder of the seam allowance on the bottom and the sides close to the stitching. Now that the seam allowances are trimmed, you're ready to turn the organizer right side out through the opening in the flap lining. Push out the bottom corners of the organizer using a blunt pair of scissors or I'm using a letter opener. Tuck the flap lining back inside the flap. Be sure that the flap lining raw edges extend into the panel exterior and panel interior. Carefully press your organizer as needed using a pressing cloth to protect the fabric. Close the flap lining by top stitching through all layers of the organizer along the flap one quarter inch from the seam joining the flap to the panel. Our Go Baby organizer is almost completely finished. We have made the zippered flap and assembled our organizer. And the only thing left now is to make the strap. Thanks for watching. Happy sewing.